And here is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, the 18th of January, 2020. It's the birthday of the poet and journalist Ruben Dario, born in Nicaragua in 1867. A household name all over Latin America, very difficult to translate into English because he used the rhythm and structure of French poetry to write poems in Spanish. It was on this date in 1896 the X-ray machine was first exhibited. Heinrich Hoffmans, a Dutch physicist, built the machine out of spare parts. It took very clear images, but they came at a terrible cost. Exposure time was about 90 minutes, and the total dose of radiation was about 1,500 times greater than what is used today. So the experimenters and their subjects suffered from radiation burns and hair loss and cancer. Many people ended up having to amputate the hands that had been x-rayed. It's the birthday of Thomas Watson, born Salem, Massachusetts, 1854. He was Alexander Graham Bell's assistant who helped him invent the telephone, though he never got much credit for that. It was Watson who was on the receiving end of the first telephone call when Alexander Graham Bell said, Watson, come here, I want to see you. Bell was a professor at Boston University at the time. Watson was 20 years old. He worked at a machine shop. It was Watson who fine-tuned the telephone. He invented the ringer and also the ability to hang up the phone when it wasn't being used. He invented some early switchboards. He worked with Bell for seven years, and then he went off to do something else. He tried farming for a while. He opened his own machine shop. He became a shipbuilder, ran the biggest ship yard in the country in 1901, then went to work mining, and finally discovered his great new passion, the stage. He joined a Shakespeare company. He started out with small parts, worked his way up to bigger ones. Thomas Watson said, never before had I felt such a constant freshness, exhilaration, and capacity for work and study. He formed his own theater company, and he wrote stage adaptations of Dickens's novels. And it's the birthday of the man who invented barbed wire and thereby changed the face of the West. Joseph Glidden, born Charlestown, New Hampshire, 1813. He was a farmer. He settled in DeKalb, Illinois, where he figured out how to bend little pieces of wire into barbs and to work them into longer strands of straight wire. The invention of barbed wire made Joseph Glidden a millionaire. When he died in 1906, he was one of the richest men in America. Here's a poem by Faith Sheeran entitled Alligators. The year she is six, my daughter dreams of alligators in the closet at home where her uniform waits and at school where the children hang their coats in a room made of winter. When certain classmates begin stealing her lunch, she imagines an alligator passing behind her teacher's desk unnoticed. Sometimes the alligator is on our street eating cars. Sometimes it wanders to the playground where she is hopping from one square to another, practicing balance. I don't like sending her into the dull weather of the classroom, blackboard like a starless sky, alligators in the fountain where she stoops to drink her water, alligators in the desks with freshly sharpened pencils, alligators leading the children through the unlit hallways, tails swishing like skirts. Alligators, a poem by Faith Sharon from her collection Moving the Piano, published by Stephen F. Austin University Press and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. <laughs>